What is going on everyone? This right here is the LG Phoenix 4. This phone was on sale in Walmart for $39.88, so I decided to purchase it. This is what comes with the phone. We get the micro USB charging cable, power adapter, and uh, the manuals, also the battery itself, 2,500 milliamp battery. So this phone right here comes with Android 7.1.2. It has up to 16 gigabytes of internal memory, and it also can be expanded using micro SD cards. So right in the front, you see this beautiful five inch display. It's a HD display, and this is not actually the display. We're gonna take this, okay, peel this off. And it's feeling light, it's because I don't have the battery inside of it. There we are putting in the 2500 milliamp battery for the LG Phoenix 4. The phone actually feels good in the hand, even though it's a five inch display, it's manageable. It feels good. I mean, trying to look for the power button. Okay, okay, there's the volume. Oh, the power button is in the back. And this also looks like a fingerprint sensor, but it probably is just the power button. There we are, turning on the phone. It also has an eight megapixel camera in the back with flash, and then in the front, we have a five megapixel front facing camera that has auto and gesture shots, it says. Wow, the display actually looks pretty good. Resolution wise, this has a 720p display and a pixel density of 294 PPI. And from what it looks like, the display looks good in my eyes and there's really nothing I can complain about. It actually, you know, looks better than I expected it to look, matter of fact. This has a IPS LCD display with a screen to body ratio of 62.97%. For a $40 phone, the screen looks really good. I, my eyes are so close to it, I still can't see the pixels in it. Looks great, looks great. And on the back side, we have a bottom firing speaker with the LG logo right over there, the AT&T logos over here, the power button, and um, the plastic cover. This is nice actually, since it has a plastic cover that is removable, you can actually buy two phones, I mean, uh, two batteries, and you can swap them, which makes it very easy and also will give you a lot of battery life for your phone. For the performance side of things, this has Qualcomm Snapdragon 425, and it's got a quad core processor with Adreno 308 for GPU. Also, it's got two gigabytes of RAM. So the phone is supposed to be 16 gigabytes, but when you get it, it's going to be nine gigabytes that's available to use because of all the you know software things that's gonna be going on in your phone. There we go, it is finally loaded up. I like how the icons look. This it's got a square look. It looks clean, and uh, right off the back, it it's not showing any signs of lag, really. Let's check out the camera. Let's take a picture of this LG charger with the eight megapixel camera, and also uh, let's switch to the front and take a quick selfie. Here we are. This is not for people who. Uh, want the best photos. Let's do a quick video sample as well while we're at it. Here we are. Okay, it can take videos. The camera is not the main feature about this phone. The main feature about this phone is that it's budget friendly. You can get it for $40 and it has a camera and a really good looking screen. Matter of fact, the screen is probably one of the best features about this phone. And uh, we're gonna test out the speaker as well. Let's go ahead, open up YouTube. What's going on everyone? So if you haven't noticed, speakers in the back. In the back. If you're using it this like this, this it doesn't really block it as you can probably hear. The speaker doesn't get blocked if you're using it like this. However, if you hold it directly on top of the speaker, it will obviously block it. The placement is not really terrible because I can use this phone with one hand, right? And I'm not really gonna be holding it the way I hold my other phones, which is gonna be blocking the speaker. So I can hold it like this, making a little, you know, a hole for the sound to come out from. Here we are playing Mario Kart on the LG Phoenix 4. The graphics, they're not the best, 
However, you can definitely play this game on the phone. Let's play another game, and it's going to be Temple Run. The game runs really well, smooth, um, yeah. Definitely for $40, this is worth the money. And uh, it's making me think, why are all these flagship phones so expensive? $1,000, $1,000. It should be able to fly if it costs $1,000. With the two gigabytes of RAM, you are also able to do split screen mode. I can even play videos on YouTube and have a little pop-up coming down, like so, like this. And I can do other things while also scrolling. Great size for one-handed use. I can reach throughout the whole screen and scroll, put, pull the notification down, press the, all the buttons in the bottom. And uh, we can also do split screen mode, it looks like. So open up phone, and then we can open up gallery. And then go to split screen mode if it lets us. There we go. Split screen. Keep in mind this has two gigabytes of RAM, so you might notice some lags here and there. There we are. We got we can be composing a message and looking at a photo and we can do that. Also, the battery life, you should be able to get a talk time of up to 18 hours and a standby time of up to 16 days. Overall, the LG Phoenix 4 is a good phone for $40. There's nothing I can complain about. It has a beautiful display and uh, I'm actually surprised by how good it looks. Also, it has a camera that can shoot 1080p videos at 30 frames per second. A selfie camera. You can do all those social media things you want with this phone as well as view YouTube and uh, do some light gaming. If you are a camera person or you want a good camera this is not the phone to get. If you want a cheap secondary phone or if you want a phone for your kids you can't go wrong with this. Well guys that about wraps up this video. If you have any questions let us know in the comment section down below and until next time peace.